Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Welcome to Model Building Tips. In this episode, I'm going to work on changing the couplers on a vintage set of N-Scale Concor PA locomotives. The Concor PA-1 was one of the best N-Scale diesels available back in the 1970s when a lot of N-Scale locomotives were of poor quality. This one belongs to my cousin. It's been stored since the early 1980s and has almost no runtime, so it's like new. It still runs well, but it has the old-school Arnold Rapido couplers on it. My cousin got some N-scale trains for his son, but they have knuckle couplers. I told him I'd swap the couplers on this A and B unit set. Spreading the shell slightly releases the chassis. I'll remove the screws on one side to partially disassemble the frame so that I can remove the trucks. The trucks on the A unit are held together with four screws. Once the screws are removed, I can take the truck apart. The coupler may fall out on its own at this point. There's nothing holding the truck together, so I'll need to be careful not to lose any parts. I'm tackling the front truck first. The Microtrain's website recommends kit 1103 for the A unit. The kit has a short coupler, a long coupler, draft gear box adapters, and springs. The long coupler is recommended for the front. Unfortunately, the draft gear box adapter is a little too wide to fit. I'm going to try filing some material from the sides. That worked. The instructions say to tilt the draft gear box adapter, then insert the spring and coupler. It's good to make sure that the coupler spring is working properly. Getting this back together took a few tries. The coupler is working though. The rear truck is just like the front, only it uses the shorter coupler. It looks like the front coupler is pretty close to correct. The rear looks pretty good too. I would prefer a shorter coupler on the front, but this should work fine. It's not necessary to completely disassemble the unpowered B unit. Each truck is held on with a single screw. Twist the coupler 90 degrees to remove it. The spring may need to be coaxed out. Microtrains recommends set 1128 for the B unit. This kit has couplers, draft gearbox adapters, springs, and trip pins. In order to fit the draft gearbox adapter, I'll need to shorten the pin on the truck that held the old coupler spring. With the pin shortened, I can test fit the adapter. It looks good so far. The instructions say to bevel the opening slightly. I'm scraping the edges with an X-Acto knife. Putting all this together is tricky. I'll start by inserting the two pieces of the coupler. I had to turn them 90 degrees to get them in there. Next, I'll insert the adapter with the spring already inside. It took a few attempts, but I finally got it. There's nothing to hold the adapter in place. The instructions recommend an adhesive. I'm going to use clear silicone. This should allow the couplers to be removed later if necessary. I'll set the trucks aside to dry overnight. I've put the B unit back together and the couplers are close to the correct height. Back in the day, Katie used to make a conversion kit for the Concor PA-1. I used them on my two North Coast units that I painted in the 80s. Finding one of these conversion kits used might be a challenge, but it's another possibility. The front couplers on my units don't stick out so much. These two locomotives have been retired, as I literally wore them out because I used to run them so much. I hope my cousin and his son get as much enjoyment out of the Santa Fe unit. If you have some vintage N-scale equipment laying around with Arnold Rapido couplers, don't give up on them. They can usually be swapped over to Microtrains. Thanks for watching.